Hi everyone, and welcome to another session of Boulevard Kids. As the weather is getting warmer and we all prepare to open pools and cottages, it's important to remind ourselves of our water smart tips. Let's take a look. Now remember, if you're going near the water or you're in a boat, always wear your life jacket. The reason we use life jackets specifically is that if we fall in, they support our head, keeping our face above the water so we can always breathe. Life jackets are designed this way, so even if you bump your head and you're unconscious, you're still gonna be above the water. So always make sure you don't just have it with you, but you're wearing it and it fits properly. It's also really important that we always swim with a buddy and that someone knows where we are at all times. When we use the buddy system, we can always keep an eye out for each other. If something does happen, the number one thing that you need to do is call for help. You don't want to do a rescue if you're not trained. And even those that are trained in your bronze medallion, bronze cross or national lifeguard, their first step is also to call for help. So someone is always there. So make sure you swim with a buddy so you guys can keep an eye on each other. We're always going to remember to look out for little kids. Toddlers have one of the highest drowning rates in Canada. The reason for that is that they're pretty mobile, they can be fast, and they're very curious. So toddlers can drown in a matter of seconds if we're not paying attention. So if you have younger siblings or you see little kids around, make sure you know that there's an adult around watching them. And of course, we all want to keep up with our swimming lessons. Swimming is a life skill. We should all be able to swim to survive, which is the standard to which you could save yourself from a fall to deep water. You want to practice a roll into deep water, treading water for one minute, and then swimming 50 meters. That's to the end of the indoor pool and back. Now I hope you guys remember all of your water smart tips, but I'm sure there are a lot of more tips that I hadn't presented today. So I'd love for you guys to comment with your water safety tips and I'll see you guys soon.